We have found a sperm the one. <coughs> Wait, do I have food in my teeth? Yeah, <laughs> a lot. Help me. Okay, we're back. Mm -hmm. We finally found a donor and it's been quite the search. In case you didn't realize, okay, I, I expected finding a donor to be like, really fun. I was like, oh, it's gonna be like swiping on a dating app. It's gonna be really fun, like choosing between them. But I forgot how not fun swiping on dating apps is. <laughs> yeah, and it's not as fast and immediate as we thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. It took a lot of searching. We found the best selection when it comes to sperm banks. We've checked out other banks. Their selection is terrible. <laughs> and our bank that we chose has the best selection. Mm -hmm. In our opinion, mm -hmm. despite having the best donors, it's still been hard because they sell out so yeah, fast. they do. Are you confused at what to do in the bedroom? Or do you miss our viral kissing challenges? Either way, have we got the place for you, our Patreon. Our Patreon will give you confidence in the bedroom. And we post kissing challenges every other week. So if you're interested, head on over to Patreon. We post every Sunday. I thought that it'd be really easy to find a blonde, blue-eyed sperm donor that looks mm -hmm. somewhat like me. Cause the thing is, it's not like we're just going for some random guy. Like we want them to, we want them to look somewhat like me, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. And then somewhat, and then like her for our other baby. So it's been a struggle because the ones that we've liked have just sold out quickly. In fact, this guy that we found, we saw him initially when we first were looking and then he sold out. Um, and apparently he must've gone and donated again because he's back. And thank the sperm oh! gods he did. Guess what he has? What do you mean, what does he have? Oh, he has curly Ooh. blonde hair. And big blue eyes. And big blue eyes. Has Ash's nose when they were little. We've been sending pictures of certain guys to, that we've been interested in to her mom and her mom has been vetoing eh. them all. Not that we were gonna make her, let her make the final decision. <laughs> but this was the first guy where she was like, oh, he's handsome. Guys, we were so desperate that we even started considering redheads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we're like, okay, what, like, redhead, really white, like me. It's going to mix with you. They're not going to turn out to be, like, white and redhead. Low-key, kind of, low-key, I was, like, really excited for that and kind of wished that our donor was a redhead. But this isn't a bad deal either, so I'm happy with that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about the curls. I didn't think we'd get the curls. You were very all about the curls, but even towards the end, you started giving up on the curls. You, you weren't even sold on blonde because we were so, like... Ah, yeah. trying to find someone, because trying to find someone that has similar features to me is really difficult, you know? Well, his dad and his, all of his siblings are all tall as well, which means that the tall genes are really there, because we've mm -hmm. seen some donors where everyone else in their family is kind of short and they're tall. Not that, like, height is, like, the end-all be-all, but... If they have the height, nice. it's just, like, a super sweet bonus. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is that he's actually the shortest of his family. Mm -hmm. His brother is, like, 6'3". Yeah, so is his dad. His dad's 6'3". Something along the lines. They're tall. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to call um the sperm bank right now and reserve this sperm that's why you're here to be part of this journey with us and i know that a lot of the people on our gofundme have been wondering what's going on we haven't really been talking about it lately because there has been nothing to do yeah honestly we've just been checking almost every day <laughs> actually we went a couple days without checking and he already yeah. sold out multiple a lot like half but of his for, for those yeah but for those who have donated to our baby fund thank you so much we have not forgotten about it yeah, you're amazing we're still having a baby we're actually now thinking of having three that's for a different vlog so yeah so let's call the sperm bank thank you for calling this is rose how can i help you hi so we are we've been looking through donors and we found one that we really like and we wanted to um see if we could save some because all his vials are running out. And what was the preparation you were interested in? So we are doing reciprocal IVF. I'm not sure what exactly we need. I'm seeing only ICI premium and ICI art. Are those ones compatible with um, reciprocal IVF? Do you know? So typically for IVF, any preparation would work. Um, okay. The ones that we have available are the ICI premium, um, I do see we have one of the ICA art and one of the IUI art. Okay, cool. Um, do you know what the difference is exactly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the um, so the IUIs are already prepared. Um, this means that they're washed. It would just be the sperm. 
um, the arts have six million mono cells um, versus the ICI arts, which also have six million mono cells. However, the ICIs are unwashed. Um, this would mean that it would include the sperm and the seminal fluid. Um, and we have one of each. And then we also have the ICI premium, um, which comes with 10 million mono cells. And this is um, the exact same thing. Um, this one is not washed, and it would be both the sperm and seminal fluid. Um, so yeah, definitely consult with your physician and see if maybe they can give you like a little bit more information and um, see what they recommend for you. Okay, perfect. And then what would the, do you know what the protocol would be with um, saving a vial or two once we know what we're getting? Okay, so if you would like to place a vial on a hold, um, we can definitely do it for the ICI Premium since he has more than 20 available. Um, and let's see, we might as well, um, we can also do the um, the arts if you were looking to place the hold. Um, usually for holds, we, we can do more than seven days. Um, okay. But if you're looking for like a different option, um, we also have a buyback. Um, looks like donor is a carrier um so because he's a carrier you have um 45 days to return the vial um once you purchase it for a full refund okay we got our donor secured goods are secured on lock yeah so how it works um in case you guys are curious at least with our um sperm bank is they will put it on hold for you for seven days you have seven days to make the purchase um and then if there's any kind of, if your donor is like a carrier for anything, they give you 45 days to return it 100% for free, just in case you will get tested and you're also a carrier and it's not gonna be a fit. After that, they still allow you to return it for 50% of what you paid, I believe. Um, so that's how, that's what we were told our um, bank does. I'm not sure how everything works, but. Yeah, but we're learning together. So guys, I am so excited. We finally found our Donor. We did. My mom approved. He's the cutest guy ever. It looks like you and Bubba's. Well, we do have to get you tested to make sure that you are, you are yeah. not a carrier for the same things yeah. he's a carrier of. So, one of the cool things about this website is that it tells you his medical history and they do a bunch of tests to see what he's a carrier of. There's one thing that we need, but we need to get checked to ensure that I'm not a carrier. Because if I'm a carrier for that same thing that he's a carrier for, then it's a high chance that our child will be that thing yes, <laughs> will have that thing that we both carry mm -hmm. i don't think i carry anything but i've never done a test so yeah so we'll see we're gonna find out that's the next step we also need to call and talk to our doctor to figure out the difference between iui and ici um and which one we need for the particular procedure we're doing so we put one of each on hold because we just want to double check with our doctor first yeah. before we make any like official decisions yeah but thanks for watching guys we hope you learned something because we did yep. and That's one sperm donor down one to go <laughs> all right you're perfect you're perfect bye right. Mwah. ciao